Well, hello there, everyone. Hopefully, everyone is having a good Sunday. And for those of you who are in other parts of the world, hopefully you're having a good Monday morning. So let's talk about this a little bit. As you're looking at here, this is a Samsung KS 8000 2016 television. They don't make those anymore. They're not in production. Uh, you would have to purchase this TV uh, through some sort of uh, private electronic <clears throat> TV store or your best bet, it's eBay. Okay, but anyway, this is a Samsung KS8000 2016 65 inch. Uh, it's considered a full wide color gamut TV and it has necessary peak brightness nits to achieve that uh, UHD premium HDR quality picture. So it's still considered a great pick for HDR you know if you're looking for HDR TV this is uh, pretty much out there next to QLED. QLED is just maybe 300 or 400 more nits higher uh, but it's pretty much identical to the KS series. So let's talk about the sharpness and dynamic contrast. A lot of people have been asking me about this considering Samsung televisions with a high peak brightness. Uh, let me clarify a couple of things. Let me explain this in a basic terms, not in a technical terms, because a lot of people get confused when I'm explaining something in a technical term. Technical term will get you confused and you won't have any idea what the heck it's going on. All right, so let me go ahead and let me show you what I mean by that. All right, sorry about that. Unexpected, something happened. Unexpected, wolves have came out of the cave. You know, I'm trying not to uh, spoil this game for you, so I am editing this heavily. So let's talk about dynamic contrast and why during HDR you need to avoid dynamic contrast okay so we're gonna talk about that here for a little bit all right so let me go ahead and let me show you what I'm talking about I'm gonna show you one example okay currently right now uh, this television it's running in HDR it clearly says there HDR UHD so you know it's running on a high dynamic range all right now let me show you something else let's go to the picture expert settings every HDR format automatically sets backlit and contrast to maximum so you already have contrast and backlit set to maximum to achieve that highest peak brightness that this television can squeeze out of it okay so that means your right your white bright levels are already at that highest peak it's very, it's very important to remember that your white bright levels are already at that highest peak for HDR. Now, if you go over here to dynamic contrast and turn that, turn that on, uh, let me just show you the difference, okay? All right, what you're looking at here, this is without dynamic contrast running the HDR and you can clearly see everything you can see uh, the ice and snow blowing through the mountain on the wind you can see the the white bright levels really nicely okay you can see it clearly now look what happens when you put dynamic contrast to high and turn that on you're gonna lose a lot of this detail on a white bright level so we let's turn that on in about three seconds one two three and look what happened everything is brighter you don't get to see that sky uh, blue like it was before everything's much brighter this is you might think that this is a great detail but it's not you're crushing your white bright levels and therefore you're losing the detail so what you want to do is you want to turn that off and look what happens when I turn it off in about uh, four seconds. One, two, three, 
four. And look at the difference. Now you get to see the sky, definition of the sky, gray and blue, and you get to see stuff in the distance blowing, okay? Once I move this to high and turn dynamic contrast on, I'm going to crush my white bright levels. Now I'm going to do this without editing and look what happens. You see that? And to me, you don't want to do that for the HDR, okay? So I would avoid this. You want to turn that off. Trust me. You don't need this. You're not getting any picture quality out of this. You're crushing your white bright levels, okay? And the reason I'm showing you this, it's so that way you understand why I have to turn off my dynamic contrast. Dynamic contrast, it's only used for non-HDR content. You know, if you're watching something that's not HDR and you need those uh, white bright levels a little bit brighter and deep dark levels a little bit darker, dynamic contrast will do that. But high dynamic range already has that. It already has that in static metadata with the peak brightness and, and, and contrast from your TV. So you don't have to use this for HDR. I'm not saying don't use dynamic contrast at all. You can use dynamic contrast, but use it on non-HDR content. Use it on the content that doesn't support HDR. Like your cable or, you know, your Blu-ray movies that don't support HDR. You can use this. Okay? Now let's move on to another thing that I want to talk about. Let's talk about the, uh, the sharpness really quick. All right, let's uh, go to the sharpness over here really quick, and let's talk about the sharpness. Uh, this is another thing that people ask me all the time. And the reason I'm doing this video is so that way you guys have some basic understanding as to why. Uh, I currently have my sharpness at 10, and I personally believe sharpness at 10, it's a reasonable amount of outline sharpening detail. But in all honesty, and I happen to agree with this. In all honesty, leaving sharpness at zero is your best bet. If you truly don't want any kind of outlining to damage the quality of this uh, uh, game, I would say leave the sharpness at zero. Because you want to have that detail. Uh, you want to squeeze as much detail as you can. You know, you want to experience this game. The whole idea is for you to experience what these guys have worked for for several years to make this game happen. So leave the sharpness at zero. That would be my uh, advice. It's not a law. It's just a recommended advice. If you don't feel like you have to, don't do it. So there you have it. Uh, I just wanted to address a couple of things. The sharpness and dynamic contrast and why you want to keep sharpness at zero. Remember, you are already watching a checkerboard rendered 4K game. So this game is already sharp. You're getting a very high resolution. So you don't have to crank that sharpness. You can leave that sharpness at zero. Because you already got enough pixels to give you that detail. So this is why you want to move sharpness to zero. And we talked about dynamic contrast. You have to remove dynamic contrast because you don't want to crush your white bright levels. You want to get all this detail. All right, let me get a little bit closer. You see, you want to be able to see everything. You don't want to crush anything. His breath moving out. All of the white bright levels has to be done uh, equally and balanced. You see like that blowing... Uh, cold snow over there that's blowing from the dusty snowy whatever you want to call that shit <laughs> blowing from the hill from this uh i can't fucking talk you know what i mean the bottom line is you don't want to crush your white bright levels and you don't want to crush your deep dark levels and you don't want to oversaturate your colors these are these are the the basics uh, rules of calibration all right guys i don't have any more time take care see you love you take care bye Ciao.